Portals. We've heard about them in sci-fi books and movies. Fantasized about the idea of other dimensions. But what if we told you it was a reality? And that scientists are inching closer to revealing secrets of a hidden world? Join us as we explore the possibilities of other dimensions and the scientific breakthroughs making it all happen as we speak. From fiction to fact. Without a doubt, the highlight of summer of 2016 was Stranger Things. More people watched it than almost any other highly regarded Netflix original series, and it dominated social media for months. The show also piqued viewers' curiosity about the actual science that underpinned some of the more fantastical scenes, especially when it came to the idea of other dimensions. Yes, we're referring to the nightmare world known as the Upside Down, where our protagonists travel to look for the missing Will Byers. The Upside Down is said to be another dimension in addition to the ones we can see in the television series that's accessible via a portal. But can such things exist in real life? Are portals and dimensions backed by science? Hear ye, hear ye. The concept of extra dimensions is, in fact, supported by solid, actual science. This topic is being investigated by the Department of Energy's Office of Science in both theory and experiment. In the Stranger Things episode, The Flea and the Acrobat, the concepts are revealed to be fairly accurate. An acrobat on a tightrope, according to the analogy in the show, can only move forward or backward. But a flea on the same tightrope, operating on a much smaller scale, can travel all the way around the rope in other dimensions, allowing it to see more of them. In this analogy, we are the acrobat, so the issue is how to test whether there are extra dimensions. Gravity, more specifically the graviton, a hypothetical particle connected to the gravitational force, is one method to look for proof of extra dimensions. According to one hypothesis, the graviton may move in dimensions other than our own. And we might be able to detect signs of them departing our dimension for another if we can produce gravitons at the Large Hadron Collider, or LHC, at CERN. Since the forces are restricted to our familiar three spatial dimensions, gravity becomes strong in areas we can't see, which may help to explain why it is such a weak force. By imagining at incredibly small scales, the LHC can investigate what the flea in the analogy sees. The creation of microscopic black holes, which are harmless and decay in a trillionth of a second when high-energy particles collide in a small area of space, would be evidence that gravity is moving into alternate dimensions if it is as powerful as the other forces. And guess what? Attempts are being made to create a portal to a parallel world by researchers at Oak Ridge National Laboratory in eastern Tennessee. The project aims to depict a world that's similar to ours, but one in which life is mirrored. It's famously been compared to the Upside Down in the Netflix hit series. Leah Broussard, the physicist heading the experiment, told reporters that the plan is pretty wacky, but will totally change the game. A beam of some atomic electrons will be shot down a 50-foot tunnel as part of Broussard's experiment. After passing through a strong magnet, the beam will strike an impenetrable wall and a neutron monitor behind it. The quest for this evidence is made feasible by the Large Hadron Collider and the Office of the Science National Laboratories are at the forefront of this work thanks to American collaborators who are in charge of the experiments at the LHC. The Office of Science Laboratories are also working on other projects that might sound science fictional. For instance, we are engaged in the search for dark matter, the unobservable substance that accounts for about 25% of our cosmos. We're also attempting to understand dark matter, which propels the universe's growth. Scientists are creating enormous devices to study the neutrino, a particle that could explain why matter and not antimatter rules our universe. It's an exciting time for science and sci-fi lovers. Inching closer. The Higgs boson particle, also known as the God particle, was discovered more than 10 years ago by a team running the biggest particle collider in the world. 
This discovery, which holds the key to understanding the origin of the universe, made history. The European Organization for Nuclear Research, or CERN, Accelerator is gathering data again after a more than three-year hiatus for upgrades. This time, it intends to establish the truth behind dark matter. Even though most scientists agree that dark matter exists, nobody has yet been able to detect or produce it. The Large Hadron Collider's data collection and power improvements may give scientists one of their finest opportunities to visualize and comprehend the substance. According to Joshua Ruderman, an associate professor of physics at New York University, if we can figure out the properties of dark matter, we can learn what our galaxy is made of. It would change everything about the universe as we know it. For many years, dark matter has captivated scientists. It's generally thought to make up a sizable portion of the universe, and finding out more about it might reveal information about how the universe came into being. According to researchers at CERN, only 5% of the universe's mass is made up of all the stars, planets, and galaxies. Dark matter is believed to make up about 27% of the universe and is extremely difficult to detect because it does not absorb, reflect, or emit light. Researchers claim its existence because they've observed its gravitational influence on objects as well as how it helps in bending light. Which is why the Large Hadron Collider is hoped to be of great help to researchers. It'll help them uncover secrets to all sorts of mysteries, like portals and dimensions that dark matter could be hiding within itself. But wait, do you know what a marvel the LHC is? The European Organization for Nuclear Research constructed the collider over a span of a decade to help in resolving particle physics issues. The device is kept about 328 feet below ground in a tunnel not far from Geneva and the French-Swiss border and its diameter is close to 17 kilometers. Two particle beams traveling near the speed of light are forced to collide inside the collider, which is chilled to a temperature of about minus 456 degrees Fahrenheit. And get this, it's colder in the collider than it is in space. Scientists examine the materials produced by those collisions, which mimic conditions similar to the Big Bang, using cutting edge sensors and monitors. It enables them to gain knowledge of the universe's infancy. Now, the device went into operation in September 2008, but it's been repeatedly turned off for maintenance and improvements. Engineers have been enhancing the collider for the past three years so it can identify more data and operate more quickly. Now that the accelerator can operate at its highest energy level ever, 13.6 trillion electron volts, Scientists are able to conduct more intricate, elaborate tests that may provide new information about particle physics. Speaking of particle physics, since particles did not have mass at the beginning of the universe, scientists have long wondered how stars, planets, and extra life forms were produced. Theorizing a force field that gave particles mass when they connected in 1964, Physicists Francois Englert, Peter Higgs, and others were unable to prove the presence of the phenomenon. Englert and Higgs received the Physics Nobel Prize for their finding of the Higgs boson particle, which is a component of the proposed force field. Both scientists and the general population are fascinated by the particle. In fact, the book and movie Angels and Demons, which are adaptation of Dan Brown's novel, heavily feature CERN and the Collider shining the light on dark matter. Right now, scientists want to provide answers to more challenging questions, particularly those concerning dark matter. The four-year investigation at the Large Hadron Collider aims to discover the signs of dark matter. Protons will spin at almost the speed of light as soon as they start the engine. It's hoped that when they collide, new particles with characteristics similar to dark matter will be produced. Plus, they want to understand the behavior of the Higgs boson particle. Scientists at CERN reported finding three new exotic particles soon after the collider started gathering data. These particles may hold information about how subatomic particles interact with one another. Could they be holding secrets to another dimension too? Harvard University theorist Lisa Randall examines how physics may completely change our perception of the basic structure of the universe in her book, Knocking on Heaven's Door. She speculates that a parallel dimension to our world might exist, 
hidden except for a strange weakening of gravity. She also muses over the nature of dark matter, invisible atoms that have influenced the expansion of the universe as a whole. A new generation of experiments are putting these theories, which were previously the sole domain of fiction authors, to the test. Sensitive monitors are currently searching for dark matter, while the Large Hadron Collider, the most intricate scientific apparatus ever built, is slamming subatomic particles into one another almost as quickly as light. With the LHC, we have a good possibility of seeing the Higgs particle, which explains how elementary particles gain mass. We actually have an opportunity to discover a whole new world. Yes, there might be more dimensions to the universe than just the ones we're familiar with. They are concealed away from us in some way, possibly because they are small or distorted. But even if they're invisible, they might still have an impact on what we truly see in the cosmos. After all, many things that are invisible to the naked eye turn out to be found in reality, right? One of the issues scientists are attempting to address at the LHC is how particles got their mass and why they have masses that are much smaller than physicists would anticipate. New dimensions may also help answer that question. According to their theory, there's an additional dimension that is so warped that the masses would be large in some locations and tiny in others. In other words, gravity may be greater in some locations and weaker in others. High energy colliders continue to be the most potent microscope at our disposal for studying nature at the tiniest scales and figuring out the underlying principles of how the universe works. Is it possible that the particle scientists working diligently at the CERN lab, which houses the Large Hadron Collider close to Geneva, Switzerland, have unlocked a portal or tunnel leading, say, to a different dimension? Could they be connecting to a distant world orbiting two stars in a far-off galaxy where Jedi Knights live? Maybe they've opened the doors of Europe to a hellish realm filled with monsters, or even worse, to summertime in central Texas. The possibilities are endless. Okay, let's move on. The Fault in Our Space Before we get ahead of ourselves, let's remind each other that there's a huge block in the way of portals that we could travel through, the rigidity of space itself. The idea of a wormhole, a kind of space-time tunnel that might enable you to travel from one region of the universe to another without using the most direct route, or possibly to locations for which there is no other route at all, isn't entirely absurd in and of itself. The physics underlying Einstein's theory of space, time, and gravity allows it. But the idea presents extremely difficult conceptual problems. Every one of them has the same underlying issue at their core. Bending and controlling space is difficult. To bend space into a different shape, we'd need a tremendous quantity of energy. But hey, that doesn't mean it's not possible. The ancient Incas used a device made of several strings called a quipu. It stored revenue and census records, encoding the information in knots. After several hundred years, physicists are closer to creating a much more advanced contemporary equivalent. Their knots are produced by patterns of laser pulses that essentially form a second dimension of time. Their quipu is a new phase of matter produced within a quantum computer. The novel phase belongs to a family of numerous other phases, known as topological phases, which were first discovered in the 1980s. These materials exhibit order not as a result of regular spacing of atoms in a crystal, but rather as a result of the dynamic motions and interactions between their components. Applying innovative combinations of electromagnetic fields and laser pulses to bring order or symmetry to the motions and states of a substance atoms results in the creation of a new topological phase or new phase of matter. Induced repetitive motions are one example of how such symmetries can reside in time rather than space. Time symmetries can be hard to observe directly, but they can be mathematically explained by imagining a real-world material as a projection from a fictitious higher dimensional space, much like a two-dimensional hologram is a projection of a three-dimensional object. It's possible to identify the symmetries of this freshly formed phase, which takes the form of a strand of electrically charged atoms by thinking of it as a substance existing in a higher dimension reality with two time dimensions. As a team member who was present for the experiments at the Flatiron Institute in New York City, Philip Dumitrescu says, it's very exciting to see this unusual phase of matter in an actual experiment, especially because the mathematical description is based on a theoretical extra time dimension. 
And even though it's exciting to be so close to opening a portal to another possible dimension, this wasn't the physicist's initial goal. Believe it or not, we might have stumbled upon it by accident, like a glowing doorway to another reality. A breakthrough is in sight. You see, it's possible for certain experts to come across what is sometimes referred to as a portal. But let's be crystal clear, it's not what the word portal actually means in science fiction or even in English. This metaphorical portal is not like a tunnel or doorway, and neither could we, or even the elementary elements we are composed of, pass through it. It's merely a way for well-known particle types to change into or interact with new particle types that are hidden, and vice versa. In fact, despite being an especially open portal, this is the only reason we are here. Without the electromagnetic field and its constituent particle, the particle of light, quarks and gluons would be almost completely concealed from electrons. The distance between this additional dimension and ours might be like one millionth trillionth of a centimeter. Is this the unreachable alternate universe we've been looking for? Now, if this theory is accurate, we'll observe proof that this other dimension at the LHC very soon. How? Well, it's possible for particles to transport momentum into the extra dimension, which might be visible. If this is the case, it may be a reasonable explanation for both the masses of individual particles and the fact that gravity is so much weaker than the other elementary forces that we can observe. And for all we know, it could be the revelation that changes the universe as we know it. Thank you for joining us for a reality-defying journey across dimensions. We'll see you on the other side.